Jared Poland Frono's photo.com and welcome to another top five from October 8th and 9th and the new weekend theme. This video, as always, is brought to you by AdoramaPix.com. It's a place to get a lot of prints made and those awesome photo books that I have about 10 of now. And I've given as really cool gifts to different clients because it makes an impression when you deliver actual prints sometimes to people. So let's get into last week's winner. And the winner is... Oh, I need to scroll down. The winner was... Number three, it had 109 votes, about 14 more than the closest one, a very close uh, voting that went on. So keep that in mind. Always try to vote every week for the one that you like to help them win uh, because Meg Button Bitten is going to win so, uh, a Adorama Picks book. And one person who voted will also be winning an Adorama Picks book and they will be contacted via Facebook message so let's get into the top five the theme was think different um i was hoping not to see a lot of you know apple type uh photos because i mean i mean the whole thing behind think different was to think different and to think outside of that box and it was a tough theme to come up with and the the recommendation that i gave was that people you take one photo and then you rethink it in many different ways and a lot of you guys did that so there was a good amount in there that i, I was really pleased with and i'm going to get to the critique after we go through the top five but let's dive right into it um well you know what the theme for those of you who just want to hear about the theme it's going to be outside slash nature for those of you who aren't into shooting like animals and birds and and naturey things like that shoot some photos outside any type of thing outside wrap your head around that and those who love shooting nature type things you've got your landscapes you've got um you know you have the trees and leaves changing depending on where you are at in the world and um i don't know birds animals things nature things you find in nature or outside so have fun with that Again, think a little bit different. Think outside that box. Try to come up with some interesting things. Let's get into the top five. The first photo here, thought different. They did an HDR shot. This is Char, Chari SLR. Chari SLR. I don't mind this at all. I think it was well done for an HDR. It's not uber duberly over the top of the like you can see, I mean, it, it, yes, it's over the top, but the colors are beautiful. Um, I like the foreground. I like the scene. And I, I like how it just, it works. It, it's not punching me in the face going, doom. It's HDR. It's going, wow, look at that. They pumped the beautiful pinks and um, they made it work. So I like that HDR. That's the first one that I picked. Now, the second shot from Ribe, here we go. There was a story behind it, and it says that this is a homeless man in, I guess, Holland who sells newspapers at the train station. And I just, and I looked at this photo, and I, my heart started pounding. It's one of those photos. And I'll say that they did ask for permission. They gave the guy some money for this. You want to know the story behind those, those eyes. You, I mean, this is an inc incredible, incredible black and white the processing is amazing the composition is amazing and just look at the eyes i mean it has it all there what is the story of this person and that's what i want to hear i mean i want to know more by looking at this image and that's what you try to convey in images you try to convey emotion and what's going on here is he happy that he's homeless is he not happy that he's homeless i mean you never know uh, it's just it's just an incredible looking image and I think part of the moral of the story was stop and, and don't ignore the people on the streets I mean yes it can be scary at times and some people don't want to talk to you and and whatnot but you know what this person asked for permission got an amazing photograph and and, and it's just one of those that I stopped at and went wow so moving on to the next one is M. Niall I thought this was interesting I mean it's like it's like an art gallery type thing. The gentleman in the right-hand corner has his hands behind his back. He's studying the scene of what's going on. And I, I just, I, I, I don't know exactly what's going on here, but it just, it, it's making me think because the guy's like sitting there with the hands behind his back going, hmm, this is interesting. What am I looking at? So that's what I get from this. I, I like the composition. I like the subject thrown off there. I like how you have, oops, I like how you have this right here. 
um, not just cut off at his coat. You can actually see the pants and things like that. And I think that if it was cropped a little higher, it wouldn't have been as good as it is right here, just having that little form going out of the image. So I really thought that this did a great job. Whether it's just burning in this side of it and this side being not burned in, I don't know. Something about it, about it draws me in. John does not know photo. Well, John, you did an incredible job with this photo, and he did think different because right after this image, he did one where he put like an old piece of uh, stained glass in front of the camera and tried something a little different. But the depth of this image is just incredible. You look all the way back into this. I mean, is this HDR or, or whatnot? I, I don't know. Whatever it is, I find it to be incredible. It, it's probably one of those really long exposures because everything looks so smooth and glossy. John, I'd, I'd love to know what you did with this image, and it's just, it's just awesome. I love looking all the way back in here. I love that it's not directly in the center of the frame. It's thrown off to the side, playing into the rules slightly. I know, just incredible shot. Really nice job. Uh, let's move on to D B Silho Selho. Selho. Deep Selho. Look at this. This is from a school. We've all sat at these desks. Look at the light coming in. Just, I, it's, it's, it's those repetitive motions, those repetitive things that we always look at that we go, wow, look at this. And this is another one of those. I mean, these are some tough images to choose from. I, I you know, I know which one I would vote for. Um, but it's going to be very difficult. You're not sure what each, you know, what each photo is going to do to each person differently. So be sure to vote for one of these top five images down below in the Facebook comment box. Remember, every vote that you do counts. Every time you vote and leave a comment, you're giving yourself a chance to win a hardback book from Adorama Picks. And when you vote, you're helping one of these photographers. There's the fifth one, the fourth one, the third one, the second one. And the first one, you're giving them a chance to win a hardback book. And maybe at some point, I will take all of the winners and put them up together for a grand prize of some sort uh, with a final vote. Because I think that could be pretty, pretty fun. So that's about it. The new theme for, let's see, what is it going to be? The 15th and 16th of October will be outside and nature. As always, you can post any image that you take from Friday, wherever you're at, on until Tuesday. So whatever you take Friday until Tuesday, you have until Thursday to post in the forum before we turn that off. So if your image was taken before or if it was taken after Tuesday, um, sorry, before Friday and after Tuesday, it will be removed because the rules state that it must be taken during the time period uh, for well, that we've allotted. So that's Friday it starts and then ends on Tuesday and you have until Thursday to post. So great job again this week. Let's see what you get with outside and nature. There's some, there's some really cool things that I think are going to come out of this. So that's about it. Thanks uh, for joining. Please vote, and we will see you next week. The critique video is also up, so be sure to check that out with the honorable mentions and the critiques. Jared Poland, froknowsphoto.com. See ya!